right, we're back on this Tuesday evening. It is June the 6th, 2023, and this is Weather for Weather Geeks. I'm 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm. We have uh, taken a few days away from this video, but we're back at it here during midweek. And while rain is certainly not the story in the near term, we have some uh, interesting things to talk about because of all the fires up in Canada. We've had this wildfire smoke in our skies occasionally for a few weeks now. Um, now the fires are getting a little bit closer to us. A lot of the smoke that we've seen in our skies have been in fire, from fires in central and western Canada in recent weeks. But now we have a lot of fires burning in Quebec, in eastern Canada, north of uh, Ottawa and Montreal. And a lot of this smoke uh, from these fires heading southward. And it's caused big reductions in visibilities today and very hazy skies across a lot of the northeast. Now we've had it around here, not quite as thick around here as in places such as New York City. You may have seen some of the video uh, from uh, New York shrouded in smoke and haze today. Look at these visibilities. Now, you know, when we show a visibility map, usually we're talking about fog, but the visibility has been reduced down to a couple of miles and a big swath from uh, Niagara Falls and heading over towards Rochester, Syracuse, heading down through a lot of upstate New York and northeastern Pennsylvania around the Poconos and New York City as well. We have a noticeable haze in our sky, but the visibility not profoundly reduced here locally. Now, this may change coming our way tomorrow. And the reason for that is that there will be a plume of wildfire smoke that is pretty low to the ground, not necessarily several thousand feet above our heads, that descends southward across Lake Ontario through the Finger Lakes into Pennsylvania, clipping parts of northeast Ohio. So I, I do think that... Uh, the smoke may be thick enough and low enough that you could smell it. It might, might smell like a campfire, especially in Pennsylvania. Once you head across I-80 into the northern tier of Pennsylvania, that's where uh, the smoke may be especially noticeable and, and maybe even you could, you could smell it in those locations. And as nearby as some of our major metropolitan areas, we do have air quality alerts out for tomorrow, including the Pittsburgh metro area, the Columbus metro area as well. Uh, the haze and smoke leading to a pretty unhealthy day as far as air quality is concerned across our region on Wednesday. And so especially those with respiratory issues, breathing issues, maybe a day to just limit your time outdoors. Hunker down inside for Wednesday because, again, this smoke will be a little bit lower in the atmosphere. Again, especially problematic in Pennsylvania, but even in far eastern Ohio, uh, there may be a time that uh, it may be pretty darn hazy and smoky for a time coming up on Wednesday. Uh, so in a place like uh, Bradford, PA, heading over towards State College, Williamsport, uh, Scranton, Altoona, Johnstown, heading down into Eastern PA, Allentown, Reading, places like that. Uh, this could be a real issue uh, for those locations tomorrow. Again, we're just kind of clipped by this across our area, but uh, especially near the PA border, maybe kind of tough as far as the air quality is concerned. We actually had a rare critical fire danger uh, today issued for a lot of eastern PA, parts of New Jersey as well, extreme northern Maryland and Delaware. A few reasons for this. One, it's very dry, a little bit breezy today, and also a uh, concern for some lightning strikes over in that part of the uh, country today. Now, tomorrow the uh, fire weather risk will remain elevated across our part of the country and uh, almost the entire state of Pennsylvania. So another day to limit outdoor burning. Tomorrow the relative humidity values will be down probably between 20 and 30 percent for a lot of the day. Uh, it's not crazy hot or anything. It'll be in the lower 70s. If it were 90 degrees tomorrow, this would be a real problem. But uh, 70 with low humidity is still uh, kind of an issue and a little bit of a breeze. So uh, another day to avoid you know, campfires and other outdoor uh, burning coming up on Wednesday. All right, enough about the uh, fires and the smoke. Let's look back in weather history on today's date. Back in 2010, you may remember this one, especially if you're in Mercer County. We had several tornadoes in Ohio on this date back in 2010. In western PA, specifically just south of Greenville, in the northwestern corner of Mercer County, we had an EF0 tornado that uh, damaged a few structures, uh, did a lot of damage to trees as well. Here's that tornado path right here, that 2010. It's always interesting to look at these county-by-county county tornado maps, and you'll notice you know, just a lack of tornadoes kind of in this box through here. No rhyme or reason to that, it just happens to be that way. Plenty of tornadic activity in northern Mercer, southern Mercer, western Mercer, eastern Mercer, uh, but there's a hole in central parts of Mercer County, and other counties in our area also have similar, you know, kind of uh, uh, peculiarities as far as where tornadoes like to go and not go. Today was day number 17 in a row of dry weather, officially at the Youngstown Warren Airport, and that's valid pretty much for our entire viewing area. The longest dry streak on record for this time, of the, <coughs> pardon me, this time of the year, 19 days, May 15th to June 2nd, 
1935, the longest dry streak overall on record, October 4th through the 28th, back in 1963. Will we break this record? It's probably that we will. Um, although our forecast does include a small chance of a sprinkle or a shower Thursday and Friday, but right now it's a pretty small chance. Um, when we look back at the last 30 days, we're well under 50%. And, you know, when you start seeing some of these whites and grays showing up here and there, you know, that's down in the single digits as far as a percent of average over the last 30 days. Southeast Ohio, West Virginia, Southwestern PA done, have done a little bit better, but it's pretty darn dry in those locations as well. We get an update from the U.S. Drought Monitor coming up on Thursday. All right, no clouds in the sky Wednesday, but we've got the smoke and the haze. Now, again, this won't be much, but with this disturbance pivoting through on Thursday, that's that dashed black line, kind of a mini cold front. Uh, you could think of it that way. A lot of times it's a trough of low pressure uh, is how we signify these on, on a weather map. Might be enough to spark a sprinkle or a shower here and there. It's a small chance, and even if you do get five minutes of rain, it's not enough to bust our emerging drought. Um, but it's possible a few places will see that Thursday and into Friday as well, especially Friday into the afternoon. But bigger rain chances, more significant rain chances come over the weekend, specifically Sunday, mostly probably late in the day Sunday, a little too early to get real specific on timing. But Sunday into Sunday night, pretty good uh, chance at this point that we'll see at least a scattering of showers, maybe some thunder. And I think next week, while it doesn't look to me like a super active week, a rainy week, if you will, um, not enough rain probably to, to bust our emerging drought. Um, it looks like a more active week at times with a, an active jet stream coming across the country like this. Um, we'll probably see a few chances for wet weather next week, even though it uh, probably is not going to be any sort of, uh, you know, big significant rain amount or anything like that. At least we will have the chance of seeing wet weather, which is more than we can say for the last few weeks. It'll be interesting to see if we're put under uh, a drought officially with Thursday's update of the U.S. Drought Monitor. My backyard is absolutely scorched, and it hasn't been that hot. Imagine if we had this dry weather over the last few weeks and it's been, it, 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 if it was uh, near 90 every day. Temperatures have been hot occasionally, but we haven't had a prolonged, you know, hot stretch in the middle of this dry weather. Uh, things would be a lot more dire if we had the, uh, the heat to go along with the dry weather. I think it'll get pretty hot uh, late next week into the following weekend, Father's Day weekend. Looks pretty warm to me. I think we'll see some upper 80s, maybe 90 or so for a couple of days. Uh, hopefully, preceding that heat, we'll see at least a little bit of wet weather. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight. Let's do it again on Wednesday with an update on uh, the end of the week forecast, the weekend, and much, much more.